Hi everybody, this is Subdeacon Peter coming to you with Ignite the Maronite. And uh, the topic that I was asked to present on today was on faith. And I was really excited about that because it's so important and because there are so many misconceptions about what faith is. For example, a lot of people today think that faith means believing in something without having any proof. And this is not only incorrect, but also irrational. If faith meant believing in something without having any proof, then there would be no reason to believe the Christian faith over any other religion. It doesn't make sense. That being said, it makes sense to me that people would see faith that way because a lot of people have a very narrow conception of what proof can be. Most people think that proof can only come from what you can perceive from your senses, what you can conclude from the scientific method, and what you can do deduce from those two other sources. Basically summed up, people believe that you can only have proof from what you can understand. If they don't understand it, they don't believe it. See, there's a problem with choosing to believe in only what you can understand. This is because God, by his very essence, is totally beyond human understanding, which means by your very approach, you're ruling out the possibility of acknowledging that God exists. What we need is a way, a method that goes beyond human understanding, opening up our hearts for God to make contact with us directly. See, faith is not just a conclusion. It's not, it's not collecting evidence to find out if God exists. It's something much more direct. It's not a conclusion. It's a relationship. It's seeing God active in your soul and in your life day to day. Let me put it to you this way. If I wanted to prove to myself that my mom existed, I could do that in two different ways. I could go around my house looking for evidence, right? Like if I find a pair of my mom's shoes or her nail polish on the counter, I might come to the conclusion that my mysterious mother exists. Um, I could interview members of my family to find out where my mom is. Uh, but the other way I could do it is just to go up to my mom and give her a hug. And through the embrace, I would know that my mom exists. So. Faith in God is kind of like that. You don't need the evidence. You don't need to come to a conclusion. You just need to let God embrace you. You need to let him into your day-to-day -day life. And once you're loved, you'll know that God exists. So I have three pieces of advice for you if you want to try to develop faith or increase your faith. Number one, faith, again, is not a conclusion, but a relationship. Every relationship involves communication. So my first piece of advice to you is pray. Now you may think, I don't know how to pray, or it feels really awkward when I try to pray, in which case my advice to you would be pray anyway. Um, think of it like the first time you ever spoke to your crush. You may have said all the wrong things. You may have felt really embarrassed and walked away blushing, but you broke the ice and you got things going. That's kind of like how we approach God for the first time. Eventually, when we pray enough, we learn that we can just be ourselves with God. So the first piece of advice is pray. The second piece of advice is wonder. Wonder as in admire beauty. Go outside and just look at the sunset. Look at a mountain and appreciate creation. Wonder at a piece of music or a piece of fine art. The reason this is so important is because when we wonder, we learn how to appreciate mysteries. And that skill transfers over to our appreciation of God, who is the ultimate mystery. So learning how to wonder helps us to increase our faith. Third piece of advice to you is very simple. Don't ask yourself, does God exist? Ask yourself, does God love me? And look for concrete ways in your day-to-day -day life that God is trying to love you. Once you know that you're loved by God, you'll know that God exists. This is Subdeacon Peter coming to you through Ignite the Maronite and wishing you a blessed day.